we are live two sir. minutes we will start the session yes 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 so should i start the session no? yes you can start so good evening all this is our case meet 40 uh, it's a tiva tactical approach drugs and updates uh, today's talwar is dr tushar chauk sir he is came from uh, all over from gujarat uh, sir is working in vadodara region and uh, so he is a consultant private practitioner uh, in our world is a freelancer and anesthesiologist for it's most 20 years sir is a uh, actually one of the best thing uh, i want to share with you sir is on the virtual board of ig so it's a, a very uh, nice thing because today only i, I learn that ij is rank not able to hear you you have to unmute satish satish you have to unmute you Hello. Am I audible? Yeah, Hello? now you are audible. I am audible, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. You are also audible now. Hello. Ah, you can. Again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, sir is a uh, consultant private practitioner uh, in Gujarat, Vadodara. Sir is having thirty-two years of experience. Uh, sir is mainly area of expertise is. Uh, total intravenous anesthesia, opioid free anesthesia, and non-opioid regional anesthesia. So, uh, uh, works in neuro uh, anesthesia, lepro anesthesia, and ENT, pediatric and pain specialist. Voice is cutting. Hello. Hello. Ah, I think uh, Doctor Sajid is having an issue. Connectivity issue. It's, is it's there, a my problem or uh, it's on so it's on, your, on your on your, your side, side is a problem. Okay, nothing. It's my worry. side. Yes, yes, yes. I think Doctor Tushar, sir, you can start. Now I want to share the yes, screen. Sir. Yes, so sir. I want to yes. Yes. share my screen. Yes, you can. You can share yes, now. Sir. You are now on. Okay. No, you are. Okay. You are can you screen, see? Sir. Can you see my slides? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, so uh, uh, friends, I am Dr. Tushar Choksi, working in Vadodara, and uh, I am especially thankful to IAS and Nanded Branch. Uh, for giving me the very good experience and uh, opportunity to share with my experience of tiva this is my 64th same topic lecture in all over india and all over world so i am very happy to share all these things and every time i am when i am giving my this lecture i am very much delighted to give this my talk so just a second slides can you see my second slides hello yes okay yes yes now my topic is tiva practical approach and updates now before starting my lectures i will give all the glimpses of tiva and tiva tci now the tiva tci is also going very much prominent in all over world so that is a target control anesthesia tiva is a total intravenous anesthesia and the new term tiva is a broad term like anesthesia so anesthesia is divided in the uh, so many uh, part uh, so many in sub groups so like tiva is also divided in the tci tiva without tiva without tci clad anesthesia such like that so i want to ask the audience poll who are attending this lecture how many of you are giving tiva and tci tiva what is your definition of tiva what is your experience of tiva and will you give tiva in your practice i think i presume all this question i am asking to all the audience in all over world and all over india because the tci tiva is coming a very uh, prominent way in the india and i had uh, conducted six workshop till now on tci tiva and tiva so people are already giving tiva but they want to learn about tci tiva so this today's lecture is is a whole glimpses of the tiva tci tiva clads drugs updates and everything how practical it is given so coming to the uh, my lecture highlights my lecture road map is i will give the history definition types of tiva indications advantage disadvantage tiva drugs and tiva 
drug combinations, methods of given Tiva, like people are giving with syringe infusion pump, target control infusion. I have developed my own infusion that is also called a TCI infusion, Tushar Chox infusion, and closed loop anesthesia, where you do not have to worry about this total intravenous anesthesia, just the machine will take over. Tiva in different groups of the patients, like pediatric, geriatric, ASA3, and obese patient. Surgical procedures which we are doing in which surgical procedures we are doing in Tiva. Tiva checklist, what you will remember and monitoring how you monitor and Tiva updates with Tiva apps also. Sometimes apps also we are uh, taking uh, advantage of this uh, Android apps and IS, iPhone apps. Then future of Tiva and what is my take home message and my verdict on Tiva and what is your opinion about using this Tiva? So if I will start the history of Tiva, then people are asking that NSSI is 175 years old. But believe me, even older than this is Tiva. Tiva was given in 1656 by the IV injection of opium in the dog. So it was an IV anesthesia in Oxford. And then in 1665, 1872, 1905, 1921. And the landmark year came in 1936 where the pentothal was given in the practice of anesthesia. And it was called a total intravenous anesthesia because in short and short general anesthesia we are giving we were using uh, this uh, barbiturates induction agent then ketamine came in 1962 propofol came in 1977 remifentanil 1996 then dexmedetomidine came in 1999 then remimizolam is a new compound came in the 2022 that is a combination of opiates and benzodiazepine and i will come over this uh, molecule also and recently in third phase of the um, trial, the China has uh, invented the ciprofol. That is a, after propofol, that is a, like atrapurium, cis atrapurium, then propofol, cis propofol, and ciprofol. So in 2022, it will be invented and uh, it will be in market within this uh, next Diwali. So these are the drugs we are giving in a timeline history of this. So this is the IV anesthesia history timeline from 1932 to 2000. Almost last 100 years we are giving Tiva, but now the TCI Tiva target control infusion is also coming in a big way by the so many companies with the pumps and everything. I will have a few slides on that part. You will come to know and you will be tempted to give even target control anesthesia. So my definition of Tiva. See, there are myths and misconceptions in all over world, all over India. Okay, what is total intravenous anesthesia? So definition is it is a technique of general anesthesia, which uses a combination of drug given exclusively by the intravenous route without the use of inhalation agent. That is called gas anesthesia, including nitrous oxide. Remember nitrous oxide. But here oxygen compressed there and helium are at the exception. People are also asking that okay, TY is used only for the induction period. No, it is not like that. TY is used in induction and maintenance both the way. So it is called total intravenous anesthesia. And TY is becoming popular since last two years because of, because of the corona period. And there is a re-emergence of TY in this COVID time. And I had written a very good article in Indian Journal of Anesthesia. If you go to re-emergence of total intravenous anesthesia in COVID time. It's a very good article. And if you go, then you will find everything about Tiva, how it was given and why Tiva was uh, uh, used in uh, COVID time because gas was giving, gives always side effect like uh, uh, use always side effects, right? So what are the types of Tiva? Types of Tiva is also one of the things you have to uh, consider that uh, TY is given with endotracheal tube, without endotracheal tubes, with supraglottic airway, without supraglottic airway, with nasal airway, with oral airways, and without this also we can give uh, this TIVA also, total intravenous. So TIVA can be given by endotracheal, but people have here also myths and misconceptions that Total intravenous anesthesia means the drugs is given to the IV line and forget about this. If you intubate, then it is called a total, means IV inhalation anesthesia or total, like other type of anesthesia. But it is not like that. Here, the definition itself says that if you are using only a, a volatile agent, then it is called a balanced anesthesia, then it is called an inhalation anesthesia. But here, you are giving only total intravenous anesthesia, whether you are using any airway instruments or not. So, what are the TY indications? like anesthesia in almost all surgical procedure, like airway procedures, post-operative notion, vomiting patients, uh, uh, means prone to that, 
day care surgery. I am giving all the patients to my uh, anesthesia practice now, Tiva. I am doing Tiva practice since last 20 years. And now I have omitted nitrous oxide, then uh, this narcotics, and even uh, all these uh, benzodiapines, diazepines only also. So my technique of Tiva is now off Tiva, off your pre -NS, uh, Tiva. So anesthesia in non-operating locations where inhalation anesthesia is difficult, short procedures like CT, MRI, cardiac catheterization, and trainee teaching. People will be trained like in this. Patients with anticipated intubations and extubations. Suppose patient have a locked jaw and you want to do some procedures under ketamine anesthesia, you can do that. Malignant hyperthermia. Here volatile agent causes much more malignant hyperthermic or other way. So the TY is very good uh, alternative. Remote locations. You can give TIVA even in your office procedures like the skin, skin clinic, ophthalmic clinic, then even the daycare procedures of uh, cosmetic surgery like that. Neurosurgery and neuromonitoring and neuro TIVA is coming as a separate branch of uh, TIVA. That is a sub branch like a DM neurologist are doing now exclusive TIVA uh, in their practice and they are using a TCI TIVA. Even patient's choice, even transfer of the anesthetized patient between environment. Something like if you are transferring from one hospital to another hospital and patients is under GA, then you can transfer with the TIVA only. So these are the TIVA indications. And TIVA advantages are basic requirement of the TIVA for giving TIVA is except for a slight prick in the arm, the patient is unaware. Uh, unaware of having an anesthetic, no mask over the face, no sudden concentration of gas or vapor, <clears throat> no risk of malignant hyperthermia, very low incidence of very low incidence of delirium, La least chances of emergence phenomena. It avoids the distension of air filled spaces in the body, so better operating condition for surgery because here you are not using the nitrous oxide. There should be no smell of the any volatile agent. Like uh, at the end of the day, when we are giving volatile, uh, volatile anesthetic, like isoflurane, we were using. So we are we were tired up and we were having, suppose we are going to home, then people were telling our relatives or our family members, okay, uh, there is a smell from your body. So these are the things which are not there when these are when we are using TIVA. Even better preservation of the cerebral auto regulations, reduce stress response. Stress response is reduced of our side because TIVA is very become familiar with anybody can give now. Patient wakes up like it's from natural sleep. Like dexmedetomidine is a, like uh, the newer agents, which are the most ideal anesthetic agent. They are coming in the pipeline. So when we are uh, waking up in a, from in the morning, then this type of way people patients also wakes up in the uh, after anesthesia. That is low spionage. So extubation errors means uh, enhanced recovery of the surgery even after extubation is also uh, without uh, PONV, means post-operative notion vomiting. Least room operating uh, operating room pollution. Here the scavenging systems are not required when you are using only TVR. In my two, three theaters, I have removed uh, even scavenging system. So I am very useful for that. In war situation, ambulance transfer and unexpected conditions, we are using, suppose in a, uh, I had a, a incidence of like that, See, uh, when there was a Iraq, Iran and uh, USA war at that time in the wounded soldiers were given anesthesia in the midway of the uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, ship where yes. they had given ketamine anesthesia. Hello? Yes. Oh, at that time also, uh, my slides are something, <laughs> some problem is there. You can see it, but ne? So yes, in what yes. situation, ambulance transfer and unexpected condition also TY is good. So TY is favorable to almost all body systems, central nervous system, immune system, cardiovascular system, post-operative pain, older patients, oncology surgery, gastrointestinal system, and even renal system. So it is favorable to all systems where you have everything about this. So TY can be given to each and every patient with this all these systems. But coin has two sides. So there is a, some disadvantage of TIVA also. Like we pain on injections. Injection is irreversible. Disposable may be costly. Incidence of awareness if not given. Undetected errors in delivery system. Environmental effect of plastic waste. Not having another apparatus to carry on the TIVA. Even if we are not finding the vein, then also we cannot give 
Activa, possibility of not finding the vein, shallow respiration, risk of bacterial contamination. Here, the all the bulbs, uh, suppose like uh, in foreign countries, there are ampules of the uh, propofols are available. But in Indian situation, the pharmacological companies are producing bulb of the propofol. So there are repeat uh, um, uh, a re a repeat of taking the injections and multiple uh, punctures in the uh, this uh, bottle. So there is a risk of bacterial contamination. Potions in prolonged procedure or obese patient. Here I had in maximum in my lifetime seven hours of TY I had given in one of the uh, sex reconstru reconstruction surgery with very nice way. So seven hours up till that I had given a very good way. And in difficulty, difficulty in knowing blood concentration of this uh, uh, this anesthetic agent. So this, all these TIVA agents, TIVA completes the NSSA circle. What we have learned in our NSSA residency program that is called hypnosis, sympatholysis, amnesia, hemodynamic stability, immobility, and neuromuscular blockade. Everything can be given by TIVA agent only. So which are the TIVA drugs we are using in our armamentarium? These are the propofol, ketamine, etomidate, narcotics, benzodiazepine, dexmedetomidine, muscle relaxants, and other adjuvants are easily available in almost all theaters and outside OT. So what else you require in your armamentarium? All the weapons are in your theater. And all these drugs, beauty is that all these drugs can be given to any subset of the population from periodic or neonates to geriatric patient and easily titrable dose in even TCI dose or uh, this MCI dose, whatever you take. Now I am going to go say, uh, give you some of the glimpses of the all these drugs. Very uh, one one slides, and these are the uh, infographics of the drugs which I have created in all over India. First time, these are the drugs which I have compiled since last uh, one, two years, and almost sixty five drugs were invented. Sixty five drugs were invented in our so one seventy five years of the uh, means uh, 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 invention of the anesthesia, and in which. 45 drugs are in use and out of this TIVA, TIVA is 25 drugs. So this is the list of, this is the infographics of the TIVA drugs. And what is the ideal TIVA drug? Rapid onset of the action, rapid and predictable recovery, potential and potent and lipid soluble. It is also a water soluble to minimize the toxicity associated with the solvent. It should be stable in any solution, whether it is ringa lactate or any fluids containing dextrosaline or nomosaline. Chemically compatible with other drugs. It can be combined with other drugs. No perivascular sloughing if extravasated like propofol. It should be it should be titrated in the subcutaneous space. No, abs not absorbed by the plastic, does not promote bacterial growth, devoid of any adverse reaction. Sorry, low cost. And most important, it can be mixed with the other anesthetic agent. So, uh, without, uh, without any complication. So, we can mix two or three drugs combining with the TY agent, which I will come to another slides. So these are the TIVA mm -hmm. tool drugs works like propofol, ketamine, dexmedetomidine, dexamethasone, lidocaine, clonidine, magnesium sulfate, diclofenac sodium, paracetamol, all muscle relaxants and opiates. These are the things we are using in our, our TIVA practice. So which are the IV anesthetics? I will give you some glimpses of one by one all these induction agent, adjuvants and other uh, 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 narcotics. Propofol. Propofol, I consider it is a prince of our kingdom, TIVA kingdom. So it's a prime drug in all TIVA practice and combination. Initially, TIVA dose is 2 to 2.5 milligram. And if you are using TIVA mixture, then it is dose is 1 milligram to uh, 1 milligram per kilogram IV. And co-administration of propofol ramifentan is in target control anesthesia is the highly effective and it constitutes the ideal total an intravenous anesthesia. And believe me, it is a most ruling uh, uh, combinations in the TCI TIVA combinations in all over the world. And it is acceptable. Here, ramifentanil is not available in our uh, our country, but within two months, Neon and Troika and other companies are coming with the ramifentanil within soon. And here, right side, I had given a TIVA dose and TCI dose with the anesthesia depth, how it is given, infusion and target control. And these are the propofol, <coughs> propofol uh, infographics. I have created in my infographics book and I will share with the Nanded branch and you will get it after that, this lecture. Now, second drug is ketamine. Ketamine is, I consider it's the most popular anesthesiologist drugs across globe since 50 years because it is a Brahmastra. 
one survey was done just two years back by uh, some of the anesthesia groups in Facebook, which is the most popular drug in the anesthesia, anesthesiologist armamentarium. So 49% of the people tell that ketamine is the most popular drug since last 50 years. So it is a key role and main drug in TIVA, based analgesic, amnesic and opiate sparing effect. And it has got an anti-hyperalgesic and anti-tolerance effect. So it is based given in the adjuvant with combining with the other induction agent. So it is the only intravenous anesthetic with hypnotic, analgesic and amnesic property. It produces rapid hypnosis with profound analgesia. And dose is uh, 0.5 to 2 milligram in a wide range. It can be mixed with the, any type of anesthetic and narcotic agents like ketamine with midazolam, ketamine, ketamine with propofol, ketamine with dax, ketamine with etomidate also. And one of the established drugs in the TIVA mixture. This is ketamine infographics. Now coming to dexmedetomidine. Dexmedetomidine, I consider it's a very recent drug which was invented, but it was again came in the pipeline of the use and it is the most ideal drug available just now in India. It is alpha-2 agonist. Dexmedetomidine has hypnotic, sedative and analgesic property and is estimated to be 7 to 10 times more potent than clonidine. Believe me, I will suggest every anesthesiologist that you use these drugs very frequently because it is a very good drug and you will switch over your anesthesia from propofol to dexmedetomidine and with combining sometimes in the ketamine in pediatric patients. So it is a more tidal anesthetic agent without with all the properties of anesthesia. It has got an opiate sparing effect. Dexcat ketodex combination is a very good pediatric TIVA and opiate free anesthesia. Patient will be sedated but arousable. Like when we are sleeping in the midnight, at that time when we are uh, we want to go to washroom, then we are waking up. After doing washroom, then we are coming back to our bed and we are again sleeping. So there is no uh, see. So this type of the awakening and uh, sleeping is there when we are giving dexmedetomidine and anesthesia. People, uh, patient will be sedated, but suddenly it is arousable. So it is the beauty of this sedation. They may quickly return to sedation. So it is called a conscious sedation or natural sedation. See, this drug is becoming widely popular in all part of the world in all anesthesia practice. And dose is 0.5 to 1 microgram per kilogram. Maintenance infusion is generally initiated 0.6 microgram per kilogram per hour. That is for when you are giving as a maintenance dose in TIVA practice. And in TIVA uh, pediatric TIVA, I have told this is a ketodex. That is a good combination to give in the pediatric TIVA for all this Nora situation. And this is dexmedetomidine infographics. Those who are not using dexmedetomidine, I have urged with my poem, Hey Buddies, I am Dax Mandatomedin. My name is, my pet name is Dax. I am your complete friend to play with you in all games like IV, IM, oral, spinal, even nasal also. But my favorite game is intravenous with all stages, sedation, hypnosis, analgesia, anesthesia. I love to play with small babies to old age players. But during playing with me, be careful. I am very delicate and fall down with the weak players. I can also play in the indoor stadium like ICU patient continuously for 48 hours. I'm always available to play with you and allowed me to play with others. Let us play and enjoy with me. Don't think like me, though I'm a new player. So, so my again advice is that when you are using propofol, those who are not using dexmedetomidine, start using dexmedetomidine in your practice. And the beauty of this ketamine index, whenever you go to your pharmacology book and whatever the roots are mentioned, like IEM, IV, sub -Q, nasal, then drops and whatever may, Ketamine and dexmedetomidine can be given by these rules. So what else you require? Ketomidate. It's a very hemodynamically stable drug, cardio-stable drug. I reserve it for the, my uh, uh, cardiac, uh, non-cardiac non surgery for the cardiac patients. It's excellent cardio stable drug. Used mainly in hemodynamically compromised patient as a TIVA induction agent. Sedation to induction 0.1 to 0.4 milligram per kilogram body uh, uh, kilogram uh, dose is given. And uh, I'm using hardly one or two cases in my uh, full one month of my anesthesia armamentarium. So it is a reserve drug for this. This is etomidate, <coughs> etomidate uh, infographics. Thus consider that etomidate can be combined with the ketamine also. Now opioids. There are two opioids we are using. 
But in India, fentanyl is available. Remifentanyl is not available. Fentanyl in bolus is 3 microgram per kilogram, 30 seconds, followed by 2 microgram per kilogram per hour, 30 minutes, then 1.5 microgram, then 1 microgram till the skin closer, which I am using like that way. Remifentanyl is available after two months and we will be blessed with this, um, uh, this agent when we are using TCIT. That is one milligram, available as a one milligram vial, two milligram vial, five milligram vial and initial dose is one microgram per kilogram. And in TIVA maintenance, 0.25 to 0.5 microgram per kilogram and post op period, we have to reduce the dose by 10, 110. So these are the fentanyl infographics. This is Remy fentanyl infographics. I will have to say some words about the Remy mesolam. This Remy mesolam was invented by Japan Peon company and it was in 2020. It is available all over part of the world except India. It is available in USA by by Peon name. In China, it is Roima. In Europe, Canada, South Korea, it is under Aptimada. The beauty is that it has what a benzodiazepine with opioid property. And it also can be combined with, the, there are so many papers came in the journal. Then uh, it's like off uh, switch on and switch off anesthesia like we have learned in 1997 when Propofol came in the market. So it's a very good agent. When it will be available, our, our TIVA practice will be like in golden period. Now, some of the adjuvant drugs we are using, like midazolam, I'm not using these drugs, but it's a very good agent for the uh, TY as an adjuvant. It is given in the 0 0.5, 0 0.05 milligram per kilogram, and administration uh, of midazolam reduce the induction dose. But remember one thing, in one patient at any time, don't give more than 10 milligram of the dose. This is midazolam infographics. Magnesium sulfide, this agent, it's a versatile friend for the anesthesiologist, I will tell why I am calling. I also called it is an intravenous oxygen for the anesthesiologist. Why? Because it has got a 32 effects in the anesthesia uh, practice. That is antihypertensive, bronchodilator, antiarrhythmic, analgesic, anti-seizure, anti-severing, anesthetic adjuvant, antacids and mild sedatives. And it is useful in given in patient with the total intravenous analgesia. In my practice, in each and every case, even if it is spinal, even if it is blocks, or even if it is a short cases, I give magnesium sulfate in a dose of 30 milligram per kilogram body weight maximum and less one gram. And you know that this 2 ml ampule containing one gram, it is available as a magnion or whatever the company, it is only 10 rupees. And it reduces the propofol dex atraquirium dose and uh, very cost effective. You will just Blinking your blinking your eyes, you give this agent without anything. The only thing you have to remember that whenever you give this agent in your practice, you give pre-operatively. And when you are giving this agent, then this drug, then tell your patient that you will uh, you will uh, feel that some of the warmthness, temperature filling of your body means garam lagra hai aisa lagega. So these are the 32 clinical effects of the MGM show four, and this is the MGSO four infographics. Second uh, adjunct is dexamethasone. Dexamethasone is also almost all 99% of the cases I am giving. It's a use widely in TY as an adjuvant. Now, when you know as an anesthesiologist, it is as good as the anti-emetic effect like uh, uh, ondensetron. So it is anti-inflammatory. It uh, treats the post-operative notion, vomiting. It suppresses the inflammation, good analgesic effect. If you give 8 milligram of the Dexona to any patients, irrespective of age, disease, sex, it is a good for you in TIVA practice. So good quality of recovery and early discharge in patient from TIVA anesthesia. See, people are asking me sometimes that this Dexona is increasing the sugar level in, uh, in uh, this surgery and during anesthesia in diabetic patient. But the paper said, proven part is that it increases only 12 to 20 milligram of the sugar level in one dose, like 6 to 8 milligram. So nothing to worry, you just give this. Even surgery stress and anesthesia stress also will increase the sugar level in our patient. So without even diabetic patient also, I'm giving 6 milligram per kilo, such 6 milligram uh, bolus dose. So it is a, <laughs> dexamethasone is a very good friend for the anesthesiologist. Dexamethasone, uh, this uh, infographics. Best companion for the anesthesiologist. Third drugs, my very favorite drug is lidocaine. 
it is a, it has got an analgesic anti hyperalgesic anti inflammatory reduce the opioid analgesic consumption anti arrhythmics improvement in patients outcomes and decrease the erosion and droplet during the extubation so these three drugs i will recommend for you that you give dexamethasone magnesium sulfate and lidocaine in your practice this is intravenous lidocaine i call it is a magic drug see so suppose in your body everything is disturbed like all systems are disturbed your extubation intubation response is disturbs then everything your heart is irregular if you give at least 1 mg per kg lidocaine in your anesthesia time then everything will be settled down as a like it's a magic everything will be settled down like your bronchospasm uh, arrhythmias your uh, other things and pain everything so it i called it is a magic drug another two drugs paracetamol and diclofenac sodium nsaids i am giving uh, patients regularly in my patients even it is a pediatric patients or geriatric patient with the dose uh, regimen paracetamol and diclofenac sodiums are preemptive analgesic they both has got a opiate sparing effect in paracetamol leading dose is 30 mg and maximum is 2 g very innocent drug in pediatric also i am giving very frequently diclofenac sodium is also i recommend that you give 1 mg to 1.5 mg per kg iv slowly and patient with the renal hepatic pulmonary and heart failure patient the thumb rule is that always give both the drugs before surgical incision to inhibit prostaglandin receptors why because once the surgical incision is there and then if you give these two drugs then there is no effect 50% of the prostaglandin inhibitions receptors are released then there is no effect of these two drugs because where they will act so before surgical incision you have to inhibit this pg inhibitors receptors this is paracetamol infographics diclofenac infographics and uh, in my last drugs is asmolol asmolol is a beta blocker it is a opiate sparing adjuvant gives central anesthesia when these drugs came in the market i have stopped using sodium nitroprusside and other beta blockers because it's a emergency friend for the anesthesia this is the only drugs which is causing bradycardia and hypotension so in laparoscopic surgery in ent surgery and sometimes in vascular surgery this is the most good agent and the thing is that it gives central anesthesia me it can be given up to the age of 2 years of the old uh, age for the anesthesia even pediatric patients up to 2 years of after 2 years also we can give so it is a very good and it is uh, given uh, improve the post operative pain and reduce the opioid requirement so i will recommend these drugs and very short acting drugs so you don't don't uh, worry about this it's a very innocent drug so it is a smolol uh, infographics now the tiva drug combination i am a man of combinations so what to understand before mixing any drugs for anesthesia we have learned in our anesthesia armamentarium and residency that anesthesia triangle the triangle is like a prism they consist of hypnosis analgesia and relaxation whatever the drugs are entering in this uh, prism they causes pharmaceutical pharmacokinetics pharmacodynamics and thermodynamics combinations so the rule is not mix with more than yes. three drugs at a time hello and there is a very good article came in the coleman journal of anesthesia which drugs can be ha, mixed ha. with which drugs red is not compatible green ha, is compatible white is not tested the hidden world of the drug interaction in anesthesia here if you see that propofol can be mixed with all the drugs except some of the relaxation so conclusion is drug interactions are the cornerstone and you have to uh, you have to understand the pharmacology pharmacokinetics pharmacodynamics of each drugs when you are combining whether they are uh, doing some spectrometry method crackling gas bubbling effect how many how many hours it will last like that now those who are want to use tiva so i have created one tiva kingdom where king and queen are the queen we are the king of our tiva kingdom prince is the propofol ketamine index are the first and second supreme commander fentanyl and remi fentanyl is our commander and other other are soldiers like magic soldier reverse reserve soldier oxygen soldier like that so whenever you want to use these drugs in your and and tiva practice then you ask yourself okay which drugs should be combined which drug in maintenance what you want to you want to give with induction what you want to give in pediatric also you what you want to give so in tiva here king will decide we will decide 
in the battle of military that tiwa whom to send in alone or in combinations and in tiwa prince uh, prince is the most common warrior propofol goes in both tiwa and tca tiwa it is the most common drug we are using in this uh, world in tiwa maintenance either propofol <coughs> ketamine propofol or dex ketamine or whatever alone propofol or alone dex metformin so prince with one or two supreme commander and other commanders are the best military for the tiwa maintenance in pediatric battle pediatric tiwa in absence of presence of the prince like if you are not using propofol then dex metformin and ketamine combination is now this dexket pediatric tiwa pediatrician more than 500 articles are written in the journal so my request is that now you omit using propofol ketamine now you use dex metformin and ketamine in your uh, practice as a 1 mg and 1 microgram combinations so which drugs are combined like kpd KPD is a ketofol, ketamine, or a ketamine, propofol, and dexmedetronamine. Ketofol, ketamine, propofol, ketodex, and dexket. That is ketamine or dexmedetronamine. FP or RP, fentanyl, propofol, or remifentanyl, propofol. Or in South, people came with the PDF, MDF, and ketomed combinations. So ketofol, I have told ketodex, ketofol, ketomed, and ketoetomedet. These are the drugs combinations we are using. so rule is that uh, you use 1 mg or 1 microgram 1 mg or 1 mg in combinations so when you are using ketofol then the combination should be 1 mg 1 mg when you are using dexket then 1 mg 1 microgram so everything will be combined and i have developed my own are uh, one uh, 10 years back kpd tiva that is ketamine propofol dex metformin in tiva and there are more than five papers are in the journal now so mixture of one gem one gem one dose of for tiva that is 1 mg 1 micro 1 mg and 1 microgram and combination of all these drugs permits lower dose of each individual agent tiva and reducing their adverse hemodynamic and respiratory effects we can use as a bolus maintenance and short cases less than 30 minutes the excellent analgesia and nsc is the beauty of this combinations because it decreases the dose of individual each drug mimics each other's effect like ketamine causes hypotension dex causes hypotension ketamine causes psilagogic effect and dex metformin causes anti psilagogic effect like that that gives stable hemodynamics it gives decrease the airway complication and there is a rapid recovery in my all nora procedures and even induction time i am using this combination propofol fentanyl propofol dose reduction is by 50% RPTiva that is uh, remifentanyl propofol tiva most widely used tiva combination in TCA in the world where the uh, propofol dose reduction is fifty percent. Now how you give the tiva? Tiva is given by either single drug or with combination of drug by single syringe technique or mixture of the drugs or with only one drug continuous IV infusion with single in syringe infusion pump and target control infusion and lastly it is automated drug delivery through closed loop anesthesia. but the most common thing is single syringe tiva no additional this is without intubation or when you are giving as a bolus dose or when you are giving a short general anesthesia no additional investment for tcr closed loop systems are required single syringe or pump are uh, okay only one syringe is used combination of the drugs are used short procedure can be done it can be practiced in low anesthesia departments or outside the operating room and uh, low anesthesia resources like that manually control infusion mci mci and tci tci is target control mci is manually control manual dosing of anesthetic agent during tiva here the some of the tiva apps will be infusion calculator and everything will be helpful which i will come in the next slides here it gives a with fixed infusion rate and with syringe infusion uh, with syringe or iv drip then this propofol manual infusion we were giving like bristol regimen target was 3 microgram per ml so loading dose see when tci was not there at that time propofol used as a bristol regimen how it was given loading dose is 1 mg or 2 mg 10 mg per kg for 10 minutes then 8 mg per kg per hour for next 10 minutes then 6 mg per kg for hour for thereafter up till whatever 2 3 hours 4 hours surgery so this regimens people are still using now people are asking that propofol can we dilute propofol in any solution yes it can be diluted from the bulb or ampule it is compatible and it can be diluted with 5% glucose normal saline or dns or rl commercially available is 1% means 10 mg per kg the rule is that 
dilution should be one part of the propofol and four part of the uh, diluent. So you should not dilute this uh, lower than that. So how I was doing my propofol dilution? Take 100 ml of Mont 9. When we are not using target control infusion, that's at that time when you are using manual control infusion, at that time you can use this uh, method. Take 100 ml of 0.9% of NaCl infusion, remove 20 ml, add 20 ml of 1% propofol. So this infusion becomes a 2 milligram per propofol. Maintenance dose, my dose is 6 milligram per kilogram per hour. So in 65 kg patients, it finishes within 30 minutes. You can use within uh, uh, whatever the bulb, even 6 bulb, four, uh, 10 bulbs propofol, can you, we can use. These are the total intravenous NSCSA sets are available in the world. Now target control infusion. Now whatever the workshop I am doing in all over India, national or state level, I am uh, maximum giving stress over this target control infusion. So target control infusion is an infusion control to achieve preset drug concentration in the plasma or the effect side. Key components are three. User interface, which enters the details and target blood concentration, software with the pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamic model, and communication within the control unit and pump hardware. See here, when we were using manual dosing, at that time we can use more propofol or our, without this, our patients are aware or not aware or how many depth of the NSCSA is there, we were not knowing. But by target control infusion, we have a set criteria at the plasma level or effect side level and we can have an exact mechanism what type of the propofol exit concentration will go. So always finding out the TCI dose of the propofol is always lesser than the what where we were manual giving. So there are saving of the propofol uh, drugs and easy to use it. These pumps are available from 1.5 lakhs to 2 lakhs rupees in uh, all over India. Now three, four companies came in the market. I'll give the, so two types of this TCI TY infusion models are available. One is specific drug model. So propofol, for propofol, propofol uh, TCI model, for remifentanil, remifentanil, uh, this TCI model, even for ketamine, for uh, dexmedetomidis are also available. So people recently in 2022, they have invented a general purpose model. That is Alleyweld model or one pump which combines all the drugs. When you are using same pump for the propofol, you can use this as a pro propofol TCI. If you want to use as a remifentanil TCI, then you can use as a TCI remifentanil. You can use as a dexmedetomine. You can use a ketamine, whatever way. So these are the acromed, Alivel, BD, LRS, PKPD, SP, Medicaptan, B Brown available in India just now. People have invented in China and Euro, Europe single serine TCI, double serine TCI, and three serine TCI. Here you can see there's one pump is for propofol, one is for remifentanil, one is for the relaxant. And he's the person who has invented this uh, TIVA technique modern and he has used first TCI pump that is deprefuser for propofol in 1996. So clinical, see these are the things which we want to learn in TCI, more predictable in onset, more predictable offset and uh, short time of recovery. Even this pump, whenever you give anesthesia, when you when there is a stopping of the surgery and then your pump will tell you that in how many minutes the patient will come out from the anesthesia. Believe me, it will tell you that within five minutes and six seconds, the patient will be opening their eyes. That is the beauty of this TCI pump. It saves the nursing time, limits the need of antimatic therapy and allows the patients an early return of the work. I'm using frequently this TCI TIVA for my long cases. Now, people have started recently in this August only, I found this article that is special control sedation by TCI. Target control infusion is even used by the patient himself for the sedation in ICU or even post-operative period. This Glasgow people have invented. These are the different pumps are available for specific uh, model. Marsh and Schneider for the propofol, Perfuser and Kataria for propofol in pediatric patient. Remifentanil, Minto, Maitre for alpentanil, Gaps for the subentanil. And these are the general purpose model, all drugs TIVA software in TCI. These all pumps are in one general purpose model pump. I develop my own infusion that is called Tushar Chox infusion. As a, I am giving without infusion TCI three styles. I usually give one KPD infusion, ketamine, propofol, dexmedetomine in the dose of 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Initially, I told you I using as a induction one milligram, one milligram, one microgram. Here, when I am giving as a infusion, 
as a maintenance than 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5. If I'm using dexman determinal alone, then 0.7 to 1 microgram, propofol infusion, 6 milligram per kilogram without TCI machine. Now, in India only, from PGI, Dr. G.D. Puri has invented closed loop anesthesia. He's the Indian anesthesiologist. He has invented first time in the world automated total intravenous anesthesia. It is called a Ativa or a CLADS. A closed loop system, it is ideal means of automated delivery. Here, inputs are drug and outputs are our monitors. There is in between there is a in between there is a computer. The computer will decide by the input of de delivery. Uh, see, drugs are given in the body by this infusion pump. And the, from the body output of the, all the parameters with this pump, these monitors, again, the computer will decide the, how much dose to be given in the NSC period, either with the propofol or either with the remifentanil. So it's a vicious cycle. So it is called closed loop anesthesia. And it, when there is a blood pressure is low, when there is a light mode of the NSC, then drugs will be injected. And at that time, the depth of the NSC, if it goes 40, then drugs will be withhold like that. These are the things are closed loop anesthesia model, very complex model. Even people have invented eye control IP, auto robotic, robotic induced TIVA clads. So US FDA approved and it is invented in one core Columbia by uh, uh, Ansermino pediatric anesthesiologist. And in some of the subset of the patients, I am very useful to give, uh, very prone to give this TIVA like pediatric ESA3 geriatric novice. Just few words about the pediatric anesthesia. Pediatric TY is very viable project. Here I told you about Dexcate or Ketodex truncation is very much uh, popular. And uh, propofol, <laughs> ketamine, remifentanin, dexmedine, you can give and play in an important role. As far as ever TY in neonates, because their centers are not developed. And the thing is that you have to remember that okay, obese cylinders are used for total body weight to calculate the dose. And here, when you are using TCI model, then you use Kataria or Padfuser TCI model. Even you can give geriatric patients. Geriatric patients are also very good agent, very good patients for the TIVA technique. Compared to inhalation and anesthesia, their cognitive functions are much, much preserved in uh, TIVA. And always starts with the low concentration infusion. Here, my own rule is that, and I am telling to my resident also, Whenever you start a TIVA practice in geriatric patient, then go low, go slow, and always follow. Means you use low concentration, give slowly drugs because their one arm brain circulation is twice, thrice times than the normal patient. So that is the rule you have to follow. And uh, here, avoid hypertension during the anesthesia point of view. Multi para monitoring oxygen is must during this. TY in obese patient. These obese patients are also very much uh, laparoscopic obesity patients are for uh, obesity patient for laparoscopy surgery. They are very ideal patient for me in TY. TY is an excellent method. I am using scoline in this patient because no relaxation technique is not advisable for the obese patient when you are using TY. Always give subzamethanium. Multipara monitoring is always there. Oxygen is to be given in all TY patient. TY in AC3 patients. Here also I can give low dose because see, the beauty of the TY is you can titrate the dose with your thumb rule, with your TCI, with your infusion rate, with your uh, series, whatever way. But there is no specific protocol for the TY. Choose the most appropriate TY drugs like patient is elderly or young or patient is obese or non-obese. So my, th my golden statement is surgical procedures done on the TY is from OT to outside OT. That is the beauty of TIVA because over the volatile anesthesia from pediatric to geriatric and from any surgical to medical specialty. You can give TIVA in your skin surgical uh, skin office means when there is the skin specialist calling for wart removal under the anesthesia in pediatric patient, you can give ketamine anesthesia, you can give dexcate anesthesia in his room only. The requirement is oxygen, suction machine and some of the things, drugs. So we can do all the procedure. There are some checklists when you are giving TIVA. All anesthesia drugs, airway equipments, oxygen, quality para monitor must ensure no leakage from cannula and must. Patient's IME cannula is always visible during the surgery if possible. Syringes should be labeled. This labeling is very much uh, near to my heart because if the syringes are not labeled with my anesthesia card, then I'm always throwing away because I never trust of my even myself, even my juniors or even my colleagues. So always label the drug. Infusion line should be checked every 15 minutes. 
infusion set to which device dealer should have a lure lock system. You should have a, like a screw motion IV set. If this is used, I will recommend that you, when you are, you are, uh, you, you have a good practice that you buy this machine. It is available at around two lakhs rupees once in a lifetime. Then your practice is very good with the Tiva. So check all the electrodes when you are putting in the forehead, check placement before and after surgery dripping. And at the end, ensure all tubing IV cannula which have Tiva drugs by any method are flushed to prevent inadvertent boluses in the ward. <coughs> Some of the monitors we are using in this. <coughs> Believe me, as an anesthesiologist, we are the best monitor available in the world. I consider myself as the best monitor. We, whatever the monitors will be invented in the world till 2050, I am the best monitor as an anesthesiologist. So this is the golden rule. So loss of response visually, anesthesiologist, loss of response to shaking and shouting, loss of hemodynamic response, absence of tachycardia or even bradycardia. And some of the machines are using where multi-parameter is a routine. Bispectral index, that is a beast monitor, evoke potential when you are using a neuro TIVA, process TEG machine when you are you are going for the this TIVA, null monitor, then uh, entropy, or these are the monitors which are these are the sister concern, one name or another name. So TIVA has become more popular, practical, and possible due to main reason. First, the advanced knowledge of pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, and property of drugs such as propofol, ketamine, dexmedicine, and newer short acting opiates making them suitable for intravenous administration. Second, new concept in pharmacokinetics modeling coupled with the advance of the technology of infusion pumps, which allow the use of algorithms such as syringe infusion pump, target control, and then closing. And propofol with remifentanil seems to be dominating the TIVA. Some of the TIVA apps are this ITIVA. IV calculator, infusion, infusion calculator, uh, anesthesiology. Then these are the TIVA textbooks available. This is the only TIVA textbooks available in the world by Dr. Absalom. That is available, the soft copy. I have that soft copy. I will again give it to uh, this uh, Nandir branch of anesthesiologist. So TIVA, in fact, patient friendly, surgeon friendly, anesthesiologist friendly, economically friendly, environmentally friendly, and productivity friendly. So what else you require? This is how it is used. TIVA will be a norm in future practice. Believe me, in 2020, 25 or 30, TIVA will be ruling all over the world with all anesthesia techniques. In future, auto TIVA through artificial intelligence and metaverse with the help of TCI and BC is viable. In 2030, you will heard that metaverse TIVA anesthesia, artificial intelligence TIVA anesthesia, robotic TIVA anesthesia, like that. Dexman determined in TCI model, Harnivut D. This was invented in 2022. My dream is that when we have a vaporizer mounted on the anesthesia trolley, like that, our serine TCI pump will be mounted on the anesthesia trolley. So, TIVA will be a norm in new normal. TIVA will rule on anesthesia text by 2030. So, all in one TCI TIVA. You see uh, this uh, uh, Sweden, uh, Sweden people and this uh, Switzerland people have invented TCI and Claire's both in a one one syringe pump and if you want to play something fun game on your tci pump then you can play with the same pump with the like uh, you have a, the, this uh, joysticks and you can play in between your anesthesia also and today we have a, this type of complex theater and complex machines wires gadgets and everything with our on the head side how we can use so my dream is future anesthesia workstation in 2030 switch on switch of anesthesia there should be only one anesthesia station like workstation like cabinet where there is only one button one button will be sleep mode and awake mode when you want to give anesthesia then you put the patient on the a sleep mode when you want to awake the patient then, then put switch on of the on awake mode and if in between if you want to relax then you can have a coffee vending on that anesthesia machine only you can take the coffee also so every monitor vaporizers and syringe infusion will be in the one cabinet only now newer drugs are invented like ramimizolam sugandex and three drugs are pipeline heptiva dusitols and ciprofol so think outside the box Step in your comfort Hello. zone with the TIVA and TCI TIVA with safe Hello. anesthesia, safe surgery, safe patient, safe environment and safe yourself. So total intravenous anesthesia is a viable and safe alternative to the inhalation anesthesia with lots of advantage over the better. TCI pumps and advanced monitor make administration of TIVA easy and precise. 
manual control infusion using regular serine pump can be used to deliver pre-calculated dose. And the newer intravenous hypnotic and analgesic agents with favorable pharmacodynamic properties have made TIVA more popular in wide era of varying clinical scenario and anesthetic demand. So don't think, just go with the TIVA. Don't think that uh, when I will give the patient wants more than gas anesthesia. So my question is, which steps you have reached? I won't use anesthesia, TIVA. I can't use TIVA. I want to use TIVA. How do I use TIVA? I will try to use TIVA. I can use TIVA. I will use TIVA. Yes, I have used. I want to uh, up step, first step that I use TIVA. Now I have created a TIVA Society of India Facebook bro. You can join. You will have all the abilities and reading of all the journals, articles and everything. And we, very soon we are going to form an ICWA, that is the Indian Society of Intravenous Anesthesia. And there are different societies also available in the world like Eurosiva, World Siva, Siva.ac.uk. In the near future, we are coming at ICWA, I told you. I love you, TY and TCI. And I write all always in my uh, this uh, slide, first my presentation slide, that I born with the TCI, TY or TY in my birth time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very really nice presentation and uh, very presentation. So thank you, sir. Thanks a lot from ISSP Rajnandi. Hello. Hello. Ah, somebody speaking, but sir, I'm not Sachin. here. Yes, sir. Sachin is uh, not audible with the, because of his uh, network. Sachin connection. is out of the range. Uh, thanks. Think. Yes, yes, sir. He's out of station today. Uh, Thank you, sir, for our nice presentation. Uh, we have learned a lot from your lecture today. Uh, you were uh, some concepts regarding the TIVA are very good. And uh, the recent advances, which you have told uh, right now, like the mixture of uh, DEX made with ketamine and uh, propofol, these uh, are uh, quite new for us. And uh, yes. shortly we have started using that. But mm. uh, the mixture you have told, uh, are very interesting. Yeah, us. yeah. We have gone for the even pharmacological uh, testing also. There yes. is. See, if you are using yes. in a yes, one sir. syringe, how I am using also, I'll tell you. I am taking 12 yes, ml sir. of syringe. I take 10 ml okay. of propofol, that is 100 milligram. Then 2 yes. cc of ketamine, that is 100 milligram. And 1 cc of dexamine yes. determining, that is also 100, 100 microgram. So 12 ml of syringe, okay. it, uh, it causes 13 ml also, okay. we can use it. So out of that, yes, we are okay. using one, 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 one milligram, one milligram okay. and one microgram. So suppose this patient yes. is having a 70 milligram of uh, this uh, 70 kg weight, then we are using around 8 to 8.5 ml of this out of this mixtures. And believe me, these mixtures, when you are giving the patients, then patients are very stable in hemodynamically. And uh, okay. this, this combination gives a very good, good analgesia, good hypnosis, good uh, relaxation even uh, some muscular relaxation without muscle relaxation then this lasts for at least 20 minutes so in my all urs patients when i'm i'm using this technique and after scolin i just have to put a uh, eye gel and this one dose for 20 minutes is okay for my urs means urinary return endoscopic surgery even in colos uh, col colonoscopy even ercp lesser dose is required but excellent okay. and patient does not have even you can use in ER3 patients very low because each and every drugs are in a low dose. We are not giving propofol yes, 2 milligram, yes. not in a. So this is the beauty of these combinations. And I use more than 10,000 patients, not lesser than that. Yes, yes, yes sir. Uh, let me see if anybody has any questions or queries regarding this. Yes, up till now, nobody has any questions. I... Uh, ask uh, the are the participants if you any uh, query you, you can hello, ask me hello, sir. I, even see people yes. are what uh, huh, okay somebody is asking sachin sachin sir sir, sachin, sir you are huh. using uh, your uh, tcm uh, method with rl uh, you are uh, putting all things in rl and using the, the yeah. for what procedures you are using this and uh, kpd can you elaborate on that Sachin, can you no, write sir, he is asking. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. I, I will uh, explain it. 
uh, you are said that you are mixture uh, keeping all the drugs in the uh, ringer lactate 500 ml and uh, you are going to run it for a short period yeah, for yeah. which are the procedures you yes for which all procedure he is asking ENT I yes. see I am practicing in the ENT lapro then head and neck head and neck surgery means uh, this okay. year, sir, mostly head and neck cancer surgery and uh, okay. I am not practicing the ortho gynec so routinely for peripheral no loss and I am out of the questions so all this general anesthesia regarding T uh, all this uh, urology surgery also I am doing under general anesthesia even PCNL okay. URS everything except TURP. Yes, so all my ENT okay. surgery, all my laparoscopic surgery, all my uh, urology surgery and pediatric surgery, I am doing under KPD or either dex management or either. See, I will see with the tailor-made anesthesia. Suppose my patient is having a three hours of surgery for commando and flap surgery. Then I'll put on my patient with the dex management infusion, not with the KPD infusion. Okay. So I will decide okay. myself on the table of every time. Each and every patient is differ different then. But TY is there only and I am using frequently, see my, how I am giving also one of the good way of telling you answers. First, first drugs, first 100 ml of uh, paracetamol drip is going with my patient okay. with uh, 1 ml of Dynapar means diprofenac sodium mixing with the, uh, that uh, paracetamol first pint, then I start ringolectate. Then in that ring elected, it will be finished in the ward only. These two drugs will be given in the ward. At least uh, 450 ml of uh, means all the pint will be completed in the ward. That patient comes in the OT. Then I start the oxygenation at least for five minutes. I am combining DML mixture. DML is means mixture is a dexmedetamidine or a dexamethasone, magnesium sulfate and xylocar mixtures. That is 2 ml of, uh, two ML of uh, this uh, magnesium sulfate. Excellent. Then... Uh, 2 ml of dexona and at least 3 to 4 ml of xylocarb and that is that 1 milligram per kilogram. Then I mix it, it is viable. These three combinations are viable. We have tested, there is no crackling, there is no gas bubble that can be used within 6 hours after mixing it. After 6 hours, the efficacy will be reduced, not the drug will be separated and there is a precipitation like that. So these drugs I am giving very slowly to the patients when we are doing oxygenation. Then I start with the KPD infusion or a KPD inductions or propofol induction or dexmedetamine, whatever it may be. It depends upon then scoline, then you know, switching over the infusion and this infusion. And I put my patients on the base and probably I put uh, this propofol syringe uh, in 10 ml syringe in between. And suppose my base level is goes more than 50 sometimes, then I give 5 ml of propofol bolus dose. So these are the routine practice. Okay. Ah, one thing is that okay, esmolol, I am using frequently with esmolol because all the way people are what they are having a perception that esmolol should be kept in uh, when patient gets hypertension or something tachycardia. But my way of doing this is that whenever the patient's tachycardia is goes more than 90 or if the patient's BP goes more than 120, always use pro this uh, esmolol. It's a very short acting drug. At least you give two, three ml, then patient will be settled down. You do not wait that if it goes more than 150 blood pressures or it goes more than 100 of tachycardia. At that time, then there is a, see, you can reduce only up to, if blood pressure goes 150, then you give, then it goes up to, up, comes up to 120. It will take a time. Before that. Yes. So this is my routine practice. And at the end of, uh, using uh, for extubation, always combining with lidocaine with neostigmine and uh, glycoparalate. And no doubt, there is no use of midazolam, narcotics or something like, ha, ah, on densetron, one dose is given. And this is routine for every day, three to four laparoscopic surgery or two, three ENT surgeries. And since last 20, at least 15 years, there is no major problem. So that is why law. Now I have started a TCIT practice with propofol and I'm waiting for that uh, remifentanil because see now Acromed company, which we have done first TCI TUA workshop in Coimbatore last year, at that time more than 50 delegates were there. And at that time Acromed company has launched in South India one TCI pump that was around 2 lakhs rupees. It's a general purpose model pump. And uh, now this pump is available all over India. So this pump is very good uh, glazing for us. But the only thing is that here we are using, why I have to shift over this manual dosing, why I have to shift with the combinations, 
because Remy Fentanyl, I've been waiting since last 10 years in the market. Still, the Remy Fentanyl is not available and only propofol is not going to give a very good analysis. You have to combine with either ketamine, dexmedetomine or some narcotics or something like other agent. So, I have again thought that which type of the Ativa will be beneficial to people. So, I have started since last 10 years this and now I am doing off Tiva practice, opioid free Tiva. That is also. Okay. And, uh, now, when the tremefentanyl will come, then I will again use narcotics. But uh, dexmedetomidine uh, TCA TIVA is also now available in the journal. The, the thing is that okay, one thing is very bad for the US people that TCA TIVA is not uh, FDA approved in USA. So they are not using TCA TIVA. Only European countries and Asian countries are using this TCA TIVA. So their TCA, their TIVA practice is like what we, I am doing this practice. And TCA. So hardly in my area, at least if I say that in Bodra, hardly three to four people are using TCA TIVA. Otherwise people are using only TIVA practice. Even in Nandad, I don't think there, there, is there any people having a TCI pump? No, so we don't have uh, yeah. any pump. No, yeah, okay. that's what I'm telling. Because it was started just yes. two, three months yes. ago. Yes, sir. Now, again, we, we are, are doing, doing some national, in national conference in Silong also, we are doing TCI Tiva workshop. Yeah. So, you people are welcome there. Sadish, please yes. uh, take question. Uh, sir, uh, there are uh, yeah. two some, some, some questions, questions are there. Q and box. Please, please see. So, okay. one yes, question yes, is please. from Karuna Patil. That is, she has uh, asked yes. for the skin. How to use in skin How patients? To yeah, the yes. skin patients, uh, I had got my skin specialist, mostly he's calling for the warts removal in the pediatric patients, where he goes for the 10 minutes to 15 minutes procedure. So I'm giving dex medetomidine ketamine combination, that's simple. One milligram, one microgram. And I'm using ketamine, dex medetomidine, combinations for my patients. I'm putting oxygen on his table only and the suction machines and everything is, NSC's cart is ready with me. So it is very simple. Second question, sir, excellent technique. What is current chances of uh, can PCM be mixed yeah. with diclofenac? Yes, in PCM can be mixed with the diclofenac. You know that uh, diclofenac tablets is also available. If it is orally mixing, then IV mixing is also there. Even now, combiflam, combiflam is all, means uh, com, this ibuprofen, ibuprofen. ibuprofen is uh, also injectable, available. Injectable. Yeah, injectable is also injectable available. Pump. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Propofol dilution if used in a drip, especially if no syringe uh, in pump. I have I have told yes, you in yeah, my, yes. that uh, how to dilute it. One part of the propofol yes. and four parts of the dilution. So that is the yes, way we yes, have to use. Uh, yes, yes, are you not using any other relation than spolin in HNF surgery also? No, I'm using uh, spolin is for the only uh, intubation purpose. Otherwise, I am using cisatracurium for the my long surgeries. Spolin is only for the induction yes. for intubation. That's all. Yes. Otherwise, uh, one dose of spolin, one to one point five micro milligram per kilogram for the intubation or IGL. I sometimes even I put IGL under KPD in anesthesia. That is also very okay. good. Way. Yeah, yeah. So I think I have completed my all these questions. Yes. See, PCM yes, sir, uh, for IGL point of view or no? Uh, can Can I ask? Sir? One, one yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. Uh, sir, yes. Uh, you said, uh, yes, you said, uh, IGL you used in uh, some cases, or uh, sometimes you don't use uh, any airway also. Uh, which procedures you do like that? Uh, please, can you elaborate on that? Oh, so many procedures for 10 With minutes. Of procedure, for 10 minutes, remove of foreign body. See, yes, sir. For, because this for, is a private forum point of view, I am asking. See. So, people will. Yeah, that's what I in Nora situation sometimes. Foreign body removal, then colonoscopy, endoscopy, then uh, sometimes under, under examination of ophthalmic anesthesia, then I'm using for the, I'm not doing gynec and orthopedic, but I'm using for cystoscopies, I'm using for the optical urethrotomy. And when, ha, see, the thing is that you have to make it uh, possible that each and every patient you have to examine and see that this patient is under, when you are giving this single dose without any airway, then when the patient is snoring, then you put nasal airway, that's all. In between, you can decide it. But most of the time, I put like this head. And for five to ten minutes, nothing is going to be happen. Okay. 
sir uh, okay uh, uh, nora uh, about what i want to uh, ask you uh, no, no, can you elaborate room. on that some non operating room anesthesia yeah 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 Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Non-operating room analysis. I am doing mostly in the gastroscopy yes. room. That is for the colonoscopy, ERCP, and uh, gastroscopy, and sometimes colpectomy. At that time, there is no. Uh, uh, at least, uh, I am working with two gastroenterologists in Baroda, and they are the leaders in our uh, area. And more than I have written a paper of ten thousand colonoscopies under Tiva just three years back. so most of the time i have used this uh, technique and my basic thing is that you know that as an assessor when the patient is lateral position then the airway is very good for us when patient is in prone or supine position so that is naturally for colonoscopy or endoscopy or ercp the procedure lasts for at least half an hour in, in, in ercp 10 minutes for the colonoscopy and hardly one or two minutes for the gastroscopy and uh, i am not taking that patient deep anesthesia but something sedations and little bit analgesia under ketamine and this kpd so I, I, i oxygen is full full oxygen is going on so there is no doubt that i have to uh, put a nasal airway or oral airway oral airway out of the patient because we cannot share with the gastroscopy is the same oral mouth but uh, sometimes in ercp what i do that i have gastro lma gastro lma means ke gastro laryngeal mask airway where there is a two port one port is for the ipppr and one port is to introduce the uh, scope oh. endoscope so that scope when i use this i put patient in the kpd uh, anesthesia i put a lma gastro lma then this sometimes this procedure lasts for even one and half hour so patients are uh, very much uh, safe under this because i have like intubation it is available at 22000 rupees but it can be repeatedly used yes and uh, for colonoscopy or for polypectomy uh, pediatric patients dexket ketamine dexmedrinone i was using propofol ketamine just 5 years back in all patients in pediatric but now i have switched over to dexmedrinone and ketamine excellent result of pediatric yes, anesthesia yes wonderful drug i am also wonderful using wonderful drug i am you i yes, telling yes, sir uh, Start uh, using uh, really, sir. Uh, uh, sir, I wanna uh, ask you on ECP uh, and poems. Uh, poems uh, we will do some our gastroenterologists. And uh, uh, what type of uh, uh, means I wanna uh, elaborate about that uh, ERCP and uh, uh, related to ERCP T1. Uh, ERCP T1, I have told you. Oh, you. I have uh, written a one part. I have done a one PowerPoint presentation. If you, I can share, then you just give me the. I will share you one hour and for five minutes. Can you give five minutes for me? Yes. Hello. Yes, yes. You, you can. You can. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sir, before uh, before that, one question from our uh, treasurer MSCIC, Dr. Sami okay. Sohni, sir. He is asking in chat box. Uh, please, Satish, Satish, take this question. Yar, I suit use of Tiva. Uh, i'm not using i'm not doing practice of uh, this uh, mri but mri same will be done this with mri nothing to worry i can uh, use uh, see mri does not give does not required a analgesia so you can give dexmedetomidin sedation or even pediatric patient you can give low dose of the dexket solution i instead of 1 1 1 mg 1 mg you can use it uh, at least for uh, 0.5 0.5 So you can see the anesthetic management of ERCP patients in high risk patient. Can you able to see my slides? Hello. Yes, yes, we can. Okay, I'll yes, go. Sir, I will able. go a very fast way. How I am doing? Yes. Yes. Just a minute. Just read. I am not speaking, but just uh, just go on reading. in between i will tell you how i am doing yes sir you know endoscopy how it is done what are the indication diagnostic therapeutics then ercp contraindications then ercp procedures room layout this is our own room how we are doing in our baroda then these are the endoscopy procedure room where how the patients are living we are here as a anesthetic we are having anesthesia cart we are having a cm endoscopy the gastroenterology sits here 
right? And patient is to be uh, like patient, uh, sorry, patients, uh, patient is to be tell like this in preoperative period, how to prepare smoking, chobeco, tobacco, prohibited, current medication to be continued, removal of denture, jewelry, then other things. Then positioning during ERCP. Usually we are doing in the left lateral position under semi-prone. So this is the way we are doing, right? So these are the supine positions. These are the way ERCP is done. This is also one of the positions we are doing. Left lateral decubitus position is most common. And one of the, this uh, Vortex company has came with a 50,000 rupee new endoscopy positioning system. Here you can uh, put your hand like this. I have not seen, but the Oxford people have in, uh, invented this system. That is called endoscopic positioning system. So patient receives local anesthesia or sedation or general anesthesia for ERCP, right? Yes. Then patient lies on their back. Flexible camera is inserted. Here, what I'll do, I'll say that once the gastroscopist is ready with their ERCP camera and scope, I give little sedation first. Once they introduce okay. their camera and they go in the gastric entrum and then duodenum, then I give more sedation because first if I give sedation more, then patient is uncontrolled. So that is the way, like routine, uh, for routine gastroscopy, the sedations are not required. So something like that, for oral uh, anesthetic spray is done, and for introducing of the scope, we are getting, but some, after some introduction up to the second part of the duodenum, seeing the water ampulla and uh, the sphincter, then we are giving more sedation and the patient put on the, uh, all the monitoring with uh, ETCO2 and everything. Like, Yes. So, and when sphincterotomy with electrifier, Goldstone's tromy, these are the procedures how they, so after the procedures monitored for the endoscopy room for one, two hours. And my rule is that all ERCP procedures should be come with the, uh, we should give the intravenous fluid. Otherwise we don't do, because okay. sometimes what happens, they use uh, this uh, uh, um, buscopan very frequently. That gives a gastric distension. Yes. So at that time, patient gets yes. pain and the patient is prone position. And sometimes there is a uh, patient's discomfortness is there. So you must be careful on that part also. Now monitoring is oxygen, heart rate, capnography, SPO2, everything is. The thing is that I always tell my gastroenterologist guy, just two years back, I was able to convince him that okay, you should have defibrillator in your room. Because once in a while, ERCP, ERCP patients can die on table, believe me, because of the over sedations or over, because patient is prone and there is a, always there is a hypoxia. Whenever there is a introduction of the scope and there is a procedure is going, but you will, you will see that your oxygen level is going down. So be careful on that part. So goals are ESP is uncomfortable procedure. Sedation during this process is often deep. Patient cooperation is an imp imperative factor. NSS analysis. Analysis is also very important. Desaturation remains the most observed adverse effect. Right? Yes. So what are the different NSS tactics? I use these techniques. Local spray. NSS with special gastrolaryngeal tube. Local spray with IV sedation. Local spray with IV NSCC agent with intermittent dose with or with TCI and NSCC with oral or nasal endotracheal tube. Sometimes I have to use endotracheal tube in my pediatric patient also. I have done up to uh, seven years of age of ERCP. So I have to intubate at that time. Okay. So these are the journal, journal articles okay. are very much good article. And these are the things are available. Some things, OxyGuard, that is yes. oxygenating yes. Ma mouth guard. And this gives a very good mouth opening. This is also yes. penis mouth guard. One is for the uh, lips and one is for the capnography. One is for the attachment. Yes. These are the VBA yes. endoscope. Through, from this, you can into, introduce your fiber, uh, this scope. And these are the gastro element. These are the gastro element available now in the uh, India, in Bangalore company. When somebody uh, gives in 22,000 rupees. And this is... Uh, 
this is both LMA gas to airway and this 22,000. Yeah, yeah. And periodic ERCP, you just remember two things. They are prone to desaturation and bradycardia. Now, how I manage my patient? High risk patient for ERCP is CSA2 with active. Most patients were more than 50 years old, youngest were 18 years. 18 years. Just a minute, I have a phone call. Hello? Hello? Hello, sorry. Huh? So in last yes, 28 yes, years, I completed more than 500 ACP. <laughs> so yes, yes, my ACP NS is in high risk first eight years, conscious sedation plus muscopan. Second 10 years, propofol sedation plus buscopan. And third year, buscopan will be taken over by ketamine, yes. so KPD. Okay. So all three phases okay. I have used. My standard yes, protocols. Sir. ERCP is very much every weekly I do at least six or seven. So every not every day, but we are, we are having a Tuesday and Friday, the fixed day for ERCPs. But believe me, I have lost two patients in my lifetime only because of ERCP and in my all arma, NSSA armamentarium, I had given more than 70,000 NSSA and two patients on table death because of, not because of NSSA, because of patient condition and that, that is only with ERCP only. So I'm very yes, careful yeah, about okay. ERCP and my, my lesson to life is that they don't take ERCP NSSA lightly. Always I give two hours to that patient even postoperatively also with them only. That is the way. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I think you are, you are in a hurry, sir. Uh, I have a very nice uh, sir, sir, Very nice. Uh, uh, last, last question from uh, Dr. Shishu Patil, sir. Uh, Sakish. Uh, in yes, chat box, uh, Sakish, in chat box, uh, yes, sir. Shishu Patil has asked one question. Sorry, He's sorry. Secret. He is the secretary of ISA Latour okay. branch. Yes. I'm audible, Satish? Sorry, yes, yes, yes. Please, can we use your for major surgeries okay. with okay. intubation okay. and muscle? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. No, no problem. Time is, time is yes. uh, gone far. So, this is the way no, no, I no, am no, doing this job. And uh, yes, thing what? is that... Okay, so, you uh, have any questions? Question. Yes, yes, sir. One question. Can uh, we use TO for major surgery with intubation and muscle relaxation? This that is, is what I question. told you. I am doing SRS surgery, yes. sex reconstructive yes, surgery from male to female. Oh, okay, that okay. lasts for okay. eight hours. Eight hours. Okay. So I am. Okay. I have done more than fifty patients in last five years, and this is the only center in Gujarat where we are doing as a okay. teamwork as a plastic surgeon, neurologist, vascular surgeons, and everything. So I am doing okay. with uh, IGL only. That is with the okay. next mandatory infusion and for KPD. Okay. See, these are all male, young male patients around 25, 30 years. So okay. at least for seven to eight hours, uh, I, no doubt, I have to give general analysis of it, you know, this uh, muscle relaxation, but I have switched over from atracurium to cis atracurium. That is the way. Okay. I'm not using okay. now atracurium because newer drugs are very good. Cis atracurium is yes. better than yes. atracurium. So that is the yes, way. Yes. But for eight hours, see, people have used in cardiac TIVA, one of the NSRIs, you know, Kalpna Shah in Bombay, that is in uh, Bridge Candy Hospital, I think, she has used more than 10 hours of intra. Even in Bangalore, people have used in neuro TIVA more than 12, 14 hours with TCI TIVA. So there is no doubt that TCI TIVA, we can use even hours together, nothing to worry. Because this is like a okay. switch on switch of anesthesia. Once you put uh, off the TCA pump, then the pump will tell you that your patient will come out within five minutes, within seven minutes. That is the beauty of this TCA TIVA. And even uh, this TIVA. No doubt I am not against the inhalation sir, technique. Sir, I got, yes. Sir, 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 I ask for, ask for, uh, you are waiting for almost for uh, 20 years, I think so. Sachin, I am not able to... Sachin, Yes, yes, sir. Sachin, uh, right now we are not able to listen to you. Uh, hello. Okay. 
Sachin, can you write it down? Sorry. Yes, yes. You can write it down. I think I have fulfilled my criteria about telling all this TCI, TY, and TY with my all this uh, practical. See why I am doing this TCI, TY, and TY canvassing all over India because I am only an assistant in private practice doing this job. Otherwise, if you go to all the way in all over India, then people are using in corporate hospital. People are using in their government hospital, but this Nandir people, I think, they are most of the private practitioners. Am I correct? Hello. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. So, so uh, once we get the question from Sachin, I will uh, uh, mail you or uh, get you get uh, answer for the question. Uh, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm really uh, read about fentanyl. As, uh, last uh, World Health Day, we are introducing fentanyl to our members. That it is easily available for us. And uh, you are happy with Remy fentanyl. Uh, what is the difference on that fentanyl Remy fentanyl in uh, Tiva? In Tiva, now fentanyl is outdated. Remy fentanyl is very short yes. acting. Sir. Remy fentanyl is very short acting drugs. Once you give any very uh, very good recovery, I think uh, Remy fentanyl and fentanyl are both perfect. I think you can go to the my infographics here. What is the difference between fentanyl and Remy fentanyl? Once the fentanyl Remy fentanyl come, then hello. Actually, I, I hello. actually I want to ask this question on that note. You are very much eager to hear from uh, pharma companies when uh, Remifentanil come in India. See, I was, told by, note, I was told, uh, I was told I'm, I'm by Neon Company. Question. I was told by the Neon Company, Troika Company, Varanium and other flexic yes, companies. Uh, when Fentanyl is available in uh, actually, actually Fentanyl is available in market, uh, you are eager to give Remifentanil. What is the main, main I want to reason that only to our perspective from that we are yeah. using fentanyl uh, in here in uh, our backward area. So be careful of that. Thing. So I will ask that question only that point of view. Sachin, we are not getting your question correctly. I think Sachin, you ask me in personally. I will I will tell you. Don't yes, worry. yes, yes. Such, Sachin will, will ask you. Uh, ah. yeah, yes. So yes. can we close this uh, meeting now? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I am uh, very thankful, uh, Chokshi, sir, for presenting the nice uh, topic. And uh, I hope all the people who have enjoyed uh, very well and uh, use the your techniques we have supported or uh, given ideas today. Uh, and, uh, thanks a lot. Thanks thing, very Satish, much. Second thing, Satish, yes, I will I will give my all these PowerPoint presentation slides to and to you and Doctor yeah, yeah. Sachin, Sachin and my infographics yes, sir, and everything. So yes, sir. you can have all these things and uh, you will be okay. So you, you yes, give sir, me yes, your we'll, number. We will be in contact. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yes, I will provide you. My so I am living okay. now. Thank you. Thanks okay. a lot. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Thank definitely. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you, sir. Sachin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. Yes, Satish. Yes. Uh, we can uh, um, close uh, the uh, seminar. Uh, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm really okay. in a uh, remote place, so I'm not to conduct this place. Yes. But sir, yes, I will yes, uh, yes, talk sir. to you in, uh, personally after that. Yes. So yes, I will yes. put this session. Please, uh, Satish, put this. Yes. Time. Yes. I'm going to let you go.